Today at Brandywine Farm, we visited a spunky filly who's only a week old, but already knows how to pose for the camera. This filly is also the first foal by champion Vino Rosso, who won the 2019 Breeders' Cup Classic. While Vino Rosso is now enjoying retirement at Spendthrift Farm, we turn our attention to his progeny, and this first daughter of his is already showing that she loves to run. We had the first Vino Rosso filly that was born on January 5th, and she's a beautiful filly with good looking, well balanced, nicely conformed. Well, Shine Time is a Malibu Moon filly. Uh, this is actually Shine Time's second foal, and so we have high hopes for this mare and her offspring. Vino Rosso just had his first foal the other night out at Brandywine. Very exciting news to get Jim and Pam calling, said how pretty it was. They really loved the foal. Uh, a lot of Vinos to come. We have a night watch person that strolls the barn all night. So we have day crew that's constantly watching the mares. They're never left unattended in terms of being out of sight. Um, at about 11.30 at night, we got a call from our night watch folding man that uh, Shine Time was getting ready to fold. So both Jim and I come to the barn and the three of us fold the mare. And my night Foley man, he's an EMT. So if, if we have to give fluids any extra special care, we can do that. But this was a very textbook type of folding, uh, fairly easy folding. And uh, Fold was up shortly thereafter uh, nursing the mare. What I like about her, she has a lot of leg under her. She's balanced uh, for a young foal, just born very correct. Uh, and her, she has a, an outstanding personality. Uh, when you walk up to the uh, stall, she comes prancing up, you open the door and she stands there and wants you to scratch her. And she just, she just has a lot of class about her. So if we could have all foals like her, why, it, it would be great. <laughs> She wasn't even 12 hours old when I asked my fairy to take a look at her. And um, she was along the back wall. The minute we opened the stall door, she's right up to the stall door. And it's like, scratch me here, scratch me here, under yeah. the chest, uh, you know, almost like a puppy dog in terms of being so friendly. And we have four mares currently in foal to Vino Rosso, two on the ground. And the first thing that interests us was the fact that he is by Curlin. And Curlin, of course, is a champion. Vino Russell himself is a champion who was extremely fast and could carry his speed a distance. Our other Vino Russell foal was, was uh, born on January 12th, and it's the first foal of the mare, so the mare is considered to be a maiden mare. And it's also a filly. Well, they're similar. Uh, the maiden, the one that was born on the 12th, is not quite as big, but they are very similar. Um, again, a lot of leg, very balanced, and, and pretty correct. Readers loved Vino. You know, what an unbelievable performance. We couldn't have had a more storybook ending to his career to just dominate the Breeders' Cup Classic the way he did out at Santa Anita. It was just an, an amazing, amazing day for uh, Mike Rapoli and for St. Elias and for Spinthrift. And, uh, set up a lot of momentum for him last year when he bred his first book of mares. So, you know, now those things are just going to be hitting the ground uh, all over the country. And, you know, we look forward to uh, calls like we got the other day from Jim and Pam on their excitement of how good the foal looked. Thank you for watching our visit at Brandywine Farm. If you'd like to see more foal features, be sure to subscribe to the TDN.